our national final. It's like the final race, so everybody's like really hyped up for it. I think it's great, it's a good community atmosphere and it's sort of bringing a few generations of engineers together. The schools or teams that want to be like engineers are coming together to build cars and race them. Uh, everybody's excited, it's a little tense right before the race, you know, people are nervous, ready to go. It's really good, I mean, us as a school and as a team, we've got so much out of Green Power. It's supposed to be something different, um, it's not offered in all the schools, and it's uh, something very fun and it's always liked building things and testing things, so it's a way of getting into that and doing it professionally really. It brings children together into teams in a brilliant way. It really, really focuses on the excitement and interest in engineering and I hope it helps develop those skills. You give a call like that to your Year 7 people and you're just inspired straight away, so it's great. We are from Edward and we love Green Power! Green Power just sits right there as the most, one of the most obvious ways I've seen of engaging the imagination and the talent and the brains of young people around engineering or you know related tasks. It's the first time that we participate in such a project and uh, we're looking forward to be participating in the next few years. I think the international flavor really adds to it. You know, knowing we were the, a major international team last year and then now that they've extended to, to more countries, it really makes us feel good. This is the first time and we're the first uh, school in Africa to end at this competition. It's brilliant, it's my first year here, so I didn't really know what to expect, but yeah, it's really cool, everyone's really happy, buzzing for the races. It's changed beyond all recognition now, just with the numbers of people here, with the quality of the vehicles that they're driving, with the international involvement as well. What better way to uh, enthuse young people into engineering and get involved in racing electric cars like we're seeing, uh, we're seeing out of here. Every aspect of it you can see is, is growing and I think that bodes very well for the future, not just for the future of green power, but the future of British engineering. How many careers bounce off it? How many things in our lives are you know, dreamt up, improved? invented by engineers, it's really, really important. So it's all about inspirational teachers at school, great ideas, exciting things to do, things which might change the way they think or even change their lives. If, if you're toying with the idea of entering, you've probably already made your mind up and you should be here. It's brilliant. Changed my life. International IET Formula 24 2014 champion is, and I can tell you it's car number four, the Black Bullet, the World School, yet again! We won the F24 first race and the F24 overall, so we're now champions and we feel great. It's been a fantastic day for us at Green Power, the first ever international final, so teams coming from various countries around the world to be here today. Everyone's really, really enjoyed the day. There's a wider perspective, which is just getting this message out there and trying to get more schools, more colleges involved in this incredible, incredible event. <laughs>